yeah, um, something doesn't feel right. I got it. I'll be back. I'll be back. I'll be, I'll be right back. Bad fucking habit of not locking doors. Absolute fucking unit. Look at that big old gut locker. Look at that gut locker on that big baby. Yes. it all kinds of just wrong <laughs> so I got a tattoo that's what that whole meme was it's clearly not it's nighttime now because I it's it's two in the morning because I fell asleep fuck I'm gonna have to plug this light up yeah I got a clapboard tattooed on my face you know the fucking no one cares Sandy Jones Let's try something different today. I think the um, the consensus is that most YouTubers, I don't want to be a YouTuber, oh God. Uh, but most YouTubers do one thing well and they stick with it. They just ride that algorithm to the moon. Uh, I've been super stoked the past few days. Like uh, the Mac Miller video got like, oh, I think it's at like 300 views or something. And I know that like for most people that's, it's not great. And that's, you know, fine. I've I've worked on videos that have over 200,000 views. Uh, the thing is, is this is mine. So today we're going to talk about getting into music, doing music videos. Um, I've had people in my personal life and on social media, like ask me questions. And I feel like it's, uh, it's my duty to help others because nobody was really around to help me. And if you ask people that know me personally, I do everything I can to help others. And that's not like a humble brag or some shit. I just really love to talk about cameras and I love to talk about music videos and I love all of this stuff so much far past this, like, it's my job. This would be my job even if it didn't pay, but then I'd have to have a normal job and I wouldn't have time. So anyways, let's just, I, I put this into a five bullet point list. Uh, I'll probably give them clever titles and post. So, number one, let's learn the foundations. Let's learn how to break those rules after we know those foundations. So, there's a lot of settings for a camera. There's a lot of things to understand about lighting. Uh, lighting itself. Now, I'm gonna try to put this into the terms as far as Hollywood's concerned. Hollywood has a person doing every single job. There's one guy that literally just loads hard drives and backs up stuff on, on set. There's people that, uh, you know, they're grip, they do grip. So like, they're the ones that, that put all these lights in the proper places and they understand lighting as, as a whole. Cause there's so like, there, there's just so much to know. It's, it's a, people spend their whole careers developing that skill set alone. Uh, there's people that, um, you know, operate a boom mic up over everybody's head. But then there's people that, you know, pull focus only. And there's people that move the camera if it's on a steady cam, you know, et cetera, et cetera. That's, <clears throat> that's neither here nor there. But when you produce music videos, the odds of you having a team are, are not as possible. Uh, I do have pals in this industry that have beautifully massive, diverse teams of creatives. I personally have never had a team. I got into this with no team. I still have a team like four years later. I do every single part. And this is not just music videos, but I do corporate stuff where I do training videos. I do, there's, there's so much stuff. And I do their live streams. And 
I also do graphic design and I do illustrations and I record bands and you name it, photography, shit, you name it, I do it. And, and it's, there's no team, there's no help. Um, from the setup of a camera, the, discussing, the, the discussion of the goals for a project, the lighting, the sound, the editing, there, if there's VFX, hi, doing that shit. If there's 3D, I'm doing that shit. Uh, I think it's very valuable to learn every single foundation along the way. Not just the camera, not just lights, not just audio, everything. 3D, fucking start learning it. It's great. I love 3D. If there's a shot that I can't get, I might be able to do it in 3D. But all of this stuff, the more you learn, the more valuable you are as, as, as a person on a team or for your own business or giant corporations. What is that noise? Uh, I was in bands for a really long time. And I was, you know, we, we toured a bit, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I was the guitar player and say, uh, say the input jack of my guitar broke one night, just sheared off. You know what I would do? I would cut the end of a guitar cable off and wire that shit together and play a show. Uh, that mindset alone is what's gotten me through a lot. Cause I was homeless for a whole lot of years, uh, living out of a backpack and, uh, yeah, I don't have parents or uh, family that's just, yeah, like there's nobody shitting money into my, my bank account. Uh, there's no help in that sense either. This is make or break. Uh, everything I do as a creative pays my bills. Am I making any sense? How did I get to that? Damn, this is fucking hard. <laughs> God. No, no, it makes sense because learn the foundations is what I'm trying to say. Learn everything you can, uh, don't expect any help, and then uh, make mistakes. The more mistakes you make early on, the better your career. Because you've already made those mistakes and you know how to avoid them. And as far as breaking the rules, I think... Oh, I fucked this all up. Uh, to break... <sighs> Fuck me right in the head. Right, just drill a hole and start just ramrodding it. God. Let's move on. Shut up, Sandwich Jones. Just shut up. Figure out what gear you can get, what you already have, and seeing through the bullshit. Baby. Woo! Shit. There are so many YouTubers, and I I always go to YouTube when I have a when I'm trying to learn something or ask questions that I probably already have answers because I don't like to talk to humans. <laughs> and uh, there are so many YouTubers that their entire career is to make really pretty shots at random places in the world with the best gear the money can buy. And then they have the balls to tell you what to buy because they already have the best gear. They already, I mean, they already have the experience with all of this gear. So they feel like they have the right to tell you what you should definitely buy. Uh, but what they don't understand is most cameras, uh, most people that make content or music videos specifically don't have perfect situations and don't have uh, a whole bunch of budget and there's just a lot of more variables. Why is it so dark? I want to play a game. I don't want to play a game. So we we're trapped on a stairwell of a fucking gigantic empty warehouse. Let's get this a little brighter. No, guess not. I guess that's... Here, I got you. I wanna play a game. I don't wanna play a game. How to make this worse? We're, uh, we went through a door in a big empty abandoned I tried to fart, I was just trying to fart. Oh, okay. Fuck damn it. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh, it's... They just don't, they don't suit me as, as a chaotic, fucked up human. Uh, that's seen through the bullshit. Um, as far, as far as the, the general statement of gear doesn't matter. Gear fucking matters, all right? Gear, uh, in, in the simplest terms, will define not only how you operate, but how 
creative you can be while operating your equipment. Because if you're running something like this Black Magic with like a fucking gimbal and all the shit, and it's heavy as fuck, and you have a long day out in the sun, you're not going to be as creative. Uh, it's not going to be an easy day for you because your your arms are shot. It's hotter than hell, and you're just fighting this bastard the whole way. And that's the stuff that I don't find a lot of create creator YouTuber influencer types talk about. <laughs> It's just like, here's this sweet shot that I got on the beach in Maui, in slow motion. Whoa! No, fuck that. Um, even if you have a cell phone right now, you can make a music video. Uh, camera phones have gotten a lot better. And maybe I'll do a whole video with one of those. I don't give a shit. Actually, let's just do it right now. We're not going to use it the whole way through, though, because let's not... We're better than that, but... It's <laughs> the best photo ever. All right, so I'm going to set my phone up. Hopefully. I wish I could see what it's filming, but we'll set that on top of the black magic and assume that it's getting the same sort of angle. This is going so bad. I don't care anymore. Uh, you, can, you can make a music video with an iPhone. You can edit it on your iPhone and you can upload it on your iPhone. Syncing audio in, on your iPhone through like iMovie or whatever seems like it'd suck though. But anyways, the difference is, is you've, gotta, you've gotta understand the, the limitations of the medium. You've gotta understand that it's not gonna look as good as something like, you know, the Sony's or the Canon's or this or that. But that, that's probably, uh, honestly, a good thing sometimes because you can put, you know, like I talked about in other videos, uh, the J. Cole video recently, uh, by recently I mean yesterday, uh, film grain, put film grain on it, you know, or give it the VHS look, that's super hot th these days, and go for it, you gotta fucking send it, it doesn't matter, just whatever works, uh, have fun with this, uh, the gear matters but you can get away with a lot less than you think as you're figuring it out you don't have to make a decision on this tomorrow uh, i've been in the game for quite a few years now i've probably tried every camera a man can get minus like the red cinemas and you know like the sony c100 c100s and non uh I have, I just don't have the budget for that, but I have tried all of the Blackmagic stuff minus the 12K. I've had the Ursas, these pocket cinema 4Ks, the 6Ks. I've had the, I tried the, last year, the Canon EOS R. Uh, I, I took a test drive with the EOS R5, uh, the Sony A7 R4, which is more for photos, but still great. Still pretty good. For, still good. It's great. It's cool. Um, I even tried the Canon M50, which was a joke. That thing was a waste of time. I've tried a lot of cameras. Shit, I just recently was running the A7R4 just to see if it would change me from this. Uh, <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> it just didn't. And that's because with Blackmagic, I get the Blackmagic Raw uh, color grading. 
because the there's just so much latitude because I want it to be idiot proof. Um, and it just looks good. It just, it, it does what I need it to do. I honestly don't even think at this point I'd buy a red over a black magic camera. I've just had a way better experience and not even just visually, but I mean, I, instead of recording to SD cards, which can break really easy, I'm recording to, uh, Samsung T5 SSDs, which go in through micro USB or USB-C, micro, my USB-C, which then I can connect straight to my computer and I can edit from these cards. It's officially more seamless than with an SD card without the risk of losing an SD card. Um, there's the fact that I can plug it in like it is currently. It's plugged into the wall and I didn't use like a sketchy power pack to do it and it just works. Um, you know, it's it's things like that that make, make me pick this camera every time. And there's gonna be a camera for you like that and it sucks to go through different cameras and chase your end game of what you want visually, but it's worth it in the end. Like, I honestly love these cameras, but I will not recommend these to like vlogger types. Um, well, honestly, most things. If you're just like a general like, I'm gonna set this camera up on a tripod, I'm gonna hit record, and I'm okay with the fact that I'm gonna have to color grade and things like that, yeah, sure. But if you're trying to like do travel vlogs and all this bullshit or like you're just a general use uh, where you're moving this camera around a bunch, yeah, I'd probably, I probably wouldn't pick it. Especially if you want autofocus. There's no autofocus here. Everything's manual, uh, which I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly okay with. Though in cameras in the past, I have fallen in love with autofocus. I just, the dynamic range and things, there was just, always a factor that made me go back to this camera. It's just how it is. <laughs> What's up, motherfuckers? Here's a lens. Are you focus? No focus? I have autofocus, that's weird. What about another lens? Whoop. Motherfucker, I have autofocus. That's wild. This actually looks really good, too. Turns all the way out. Let's fucking get her in there. Really solid our peepers in there, huh? It's not that fast, which is fair. But I mean, for walking stuff, like you're walking around and you're getting your shot, this is fucking mint. This is fucking mint. Son of a bitch. And I have autofocus. Next. But in the process of buying this camera, I, I did have to see through all the bullshit from YouTuber types uh, that were trying to tell me that like, oh no, the GH5 is better and et cetera, et cetera. I've had them all. I wasn't, this is, this is mine. This is what I love. And it won't be the same for you. And if it is, cool. Uh, that's my, that's a big part of this channel is I'm not gonna try to sell you shit. I'm not here to put money in big companies' pockets. And if I do some sort of brand deal, it's gonna be very transparent. Granted, that's, I don't see it happening, but I cuss too much, it's cool. But all of these things play a role. Uh, and it's kind of a process and a, and a journey to get there. And it's never settling for less than what you think you're worth and what you think will make your, your projects better. Uh, number three, I guess. Sure. Know your local scene and make pals is what I wrote down. Uh, you've been working on your foundation. You've been working on your gear. You've been getting your hands, hands dirty with some of this stuff. And if you want to do music videos, you've got to know your scene, man. That's just simple. 
Uh, I was fortunate in the sense that I'd been in bands for a really long time. Uh, I was a vocalist in a hardcore band not too long ago, just a couple years ago. Um, I've always been around in one way or another, and I'm fortunate that my personality doesn't annoy others in some extreme way to where I'm not cool to just show up places. But uh, when I got the notion that I was not going to work a real job anymore and I wanted to do this full time, and by full time I mean not YouTube, but music videos and other shit, uh, I would just show up to every show I could and film stuff. And I would just make pals. Like most of the time I would just go and support uh, and figure out where I kind of get in, where I fit in. And it wasn't a business move or a strategy or any of that shit. I just really love local music. I love being in bands. And I just enjoy the hell out of this community. Cincinnati has one of the best music scene communities I've ever been in. And I'm super fucking thankful to be a part of that. Well, Cincinnati and Dayton. I've made a lot of friends in the Dayton scene as well. And we're talking every genre. It's not just metal. It's not just rock or any of that stuff. I've just made friends wherever I go. And that's, I thank my mama for that. Because she also had a wild fucking personality. But it's just... Going wherever and just finding the people that you can relate to and, you know, if you're wanting to get your feet wet with music videos or photography or whatever, just talk about it. Uh, just co communicate like a human and, and discuss like, hey, what if you want to be a guinea pig for my big dumb ideas? Cool. Let's do it. Uh, number four. I wrote down, go to shows, film live stuff, just give the shit away, and uh, social media is for posting your experiments. So a big part of what helped my business grow, and I don't even like calling it a business, because it's, it's my entire life, honestly, which is sort of sad, but uh, for the past like four or five years, I've spent my off days and my on days, just every day, learning and experimenting. Uh, the past two years specifically has been 3D with Blender. And I just post stuff all the time. And it's not even like I'm showing off or I'm trying to flex or... I just love to talk about this shit. And, sh and like the cool thing about social media is like with Facebook, there's the memories. So I can look back and see what I was working on a year before or years before and you know you can track your growth because when I started Blender yeah it was bad I was my mustache is all fucked up when I started Blender it was all fucked up it was like there was months of me just moving a cube around and then last year I did my first like music video with a ton of VFX and it nearly killed me and uh yeah uh but now, this year, I'm working on projects with it, and it's like, oh yeah, this is all just coming together and it makes sense. But that's the fun thing about just making stuff to make stuff, and making art to make art. And it's and not treating it like a business, because there's been a ton of times where I've posted some cool piece of art, and then someone either bought the rights to use that art, or, you know, hit me up about doing something similar. Did I just, did I leave my phone on? Oh, no one has storage like that. What's the image look like? Ass. Doesn't matter. But, yeah, uh, I love, I just love experimenting. I love making things to make things, and that stuff does far more than I was going to say far more than advertisements could, but I've actually never had a business card or an advertisement for my business. I don't really care enough. I, I, I love what I do enough that people see that and the people that want to book me, book me. I stay, I stay pretty busy, so it's cool. Uh, number five, understand when to charge and learn how to detect if people are using you. <sighs> this is a hard one. Uh, I still work on this. Um, it didn't take me long to start making money from what I do. Uh, the first year uh, in. Oh, 
The first year in, I was making a couple bucks here or there. <laughs> what the fuck was that? The first, but like, you know, I might make like 50 bucks to go film a live show and make a cool edit, you know. And music videos, I'd do them for like 200 bucks because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing yet. And yeah, I just, I found my way in and just grew like that. But um, there's this problem that happens when you define this new phase of your business. So uh, I do corporate stuff now a lot and I'm not, I'm not going to talk numbers here, but per hour, yeah, it's for, it, it's really good. It's, I wish I could do it 40 hours a week. I would, because it'd be, I don't want to do the math, but yeah, it'd be, I hate how inconsistent it is. It bums me out. The money is so good. The money's good enough that like, I don't, I, yeah, no, just, but with music videos, if you've been working with someone for a long time and they got in on the, the elevator and they got that special deal. Uh, yeah, that, that's not something you can just void. So it gets kind of awkward if you feel like that person's using you. Now, fortunately, I have had tons of friends that I don't feel use me because we're just pals. We just have a good time. Uh, so it doesn't feel like, it doesn't feel weird. But there, I have had issues with like former clients that were like, just weird just <laughs> confused as to their role uh in my life because if we're not pals that's fine we can still do business and have a good laugh or chuckle at the time and move on but if you go out of your way to try to be my pal and expect that that's going to give you a discount then it's not it's not going to be fun for you because this is my business i don't go to your fucking job and tell you what you're going to do, and I sure as hell don't ask for discounts from any of my business pals. This face tattoo is a great fucking example. Shout out to Jasmine at Doll Star Tattoo. Go listen to her band Avanti. It fucking rips. And not saying that because we work together on videos, but just because we've all been friends for a really long time and they're amazing. They just really are. I, I'm really stoked on them. They deserve all the success in the world. But I didn't ask her for a fucking discount for this to get tattooed today there was no bullshit i don't show up to shows and expect to get in for free there's no it's not fair to the artist whatever artist you are whatever you do don't be that person and don't ex and don't let people get away with it with you don't expect uh don't expect free shit or handouts or any of that and if somebody is cool about wanting to offer you something for free, or if they want to give you an opportunity, just be fucking thankful because it, it doesn't happen very often. Um, the reason I'm doing corporate stuff is because a good pal of mine works there as, a, as an engineer and was like, I know the person for this. If it wasn't for that, I don't know if I would have made it through this year, honestly, financially. Because now that I have a house, it's a lot of, it's a lot different. I used to live in a very cheap little apartment. Uh, I missed that apartment financially, but now I have a house that I can shoot music videos in and do creative things in, and I don't have to worry about neighbors. Uh, it's great. But if one thing hadn't happened for the other to happen, it wouldn't have been a thing. Uh, I even have a car payment now, which is so weird. Anyways. Those are my five things. Uh, this is going to suck to edit because I feel like I rambled a lot. But I feel like there's some juicy information in here. If you like this sort of content, please subscribe. And if you're working on becoming a music video producer, or, or if you are already, uh, comment that shit. I would love to promote everybody. I would love to promote bands. If you're in a band and you want to learn more about how to be prepared for a music video or, or what your role in creating a music video could be, I'm going to make a video on that soon as well, and I'm going to have a special guest. Uh, but all of this stuff, you know, comment, talk to me about it. I'd love to promote your band. I'd love to promote your art. Uh, all that shit, man. Whatever, I, whatever I'm doing, you're you're probably doing just even way cooler shit, if not 
the highest tier cool shit. And I want to talk about it with you because I love you. Um, so yeah, do that shit. Help me get in the algorithm. I'll, and, and if you're in, in the algorithm and I can help, let's, let's get, we're together on this. We're going to scissor. We're going to scissor with consent. I'm going to figure this whole YouTube thing out. Just give me time. My face hurts and I'm tired. So I'm going to get out of here. And you guys be good. Is my jaw clenching affecting you at all? Uh, a little. I can, I can try right. to shut that off here. Cool. I felt it and I was like, hello. <laughs> I'm not doing that.